thought I'd show you a couple of things that we've done to our van to make things a bit better when we travel. We've got a clothesline. This just tensions it up a little bit. It's just a bit of conduit. No screws or anything like that. That was the main intention. So I can just undo that. And then that just rolls up and folds away. So I've just made a little bit of timber here and put one of these caps at the end. So it just sits there like that. And the same at this end. Down between the spare tire there, you can see the another one of those these caps that it just fits into and I've just tensioned it up on the back. This is my um, this is my firebox. It's one of those fireboxes that fit together in four pieces. Bit of fridge tray there if I want to put a fire frying pan on it or something like that. So what I did here, I just drilled some holes in here. And then looking at this one here, I just, I drilled through the, the disc, through the plate here, and just put a, a length of threaded rod through these. And so I just tension that up, slide these over, put a little thing on there, put a padlock on there, just to stop these coming off with vibration. But that's really firm and it's not gonna it's not gonna come off at all. Um, a lot of people have talk about problems with their gas. So I just a couple of little pop rivets here, and they just sit there. I pull those out, that just stops it blowing off. All this is is a cheap thing. Sit it there, pop your pop rivets off to stop it blowing away. So plenty of air still gets to the um to the gas and it doesn't blow out but uh for you know for three bucks it's a solution that's worked really well for us i took the um sliding box out of here and that was about 25 kilos um and 25 kilos at the front of the van in front of the wheels um pressing down that's that's significant Coming around here, we haven't done anything to the fridge. We've done very little to the kitchen. The only thing we did to the kitchen was, I just went to Bunnings and bought a um, stainless tea towel rail. That does the trick. So we were worried that things would get into our pantry overnight. So I just got a core flute from the election, cut it out to the right size, and then that just sits in there. And it's not gonna keep mice out, but it'll possibly deter a possum. It just sort of sits in there snugly. It's pretty firm. Um, we had a cat the other night, and then that, that fits just under the fridge, that just sits there. The other thing we did was, I'll just grab this cam lock. Oh, there it is. The other thing we did was, I cut off the, um, the pipe from under here, <coughs> and I've put a cam lock on it. And so because the height of, this is charged basically, because the height of this entry point is actually, uh, the, the gray water tank is about this high. So once it gets sort of half full, it's actually charged. So what I've done is run this under the van and it just, marries to what used to come out of the grey water tank there and but so if I was to leave here now I would take this cam lock off and then this is just a another cam lock 
but I've put a bung in the end of it, a screw in the end. So I can take that out, put that in, and now I can go and drive away and dispose of my, my grey water somewhere. Um, and it's not gonna blow back all over my, my campsite, so I'm not ready to go yet. So I'll just swap that back in. And you saw it, so that's gonna be charged, but it'll still drain away because the sink, this height, and the height of everything going into it is higher than the top of the grey water tank. So even though it's charged, and if you don't know what I mean there, I mean like it's it's got water in it, um, it's, it's serving us well. I chucked a couple of screws on here. I've got an inverter, and if I want two things plugged in at once, I can just have that sitting there. This is the TV point. I bought one of this. This was 10 bucks on um, eBay. And I drilled a hole into the side of the van. And these are just, these are just marine plugs. Uh, so they're waterproof. And so there's one on the inside as well. But that means that when I, if I have the TV here, the cables uh, just come out um, through here, I don't have to have the window open. And the, the mesh on the cable fills that, so bugs and things don't get in. And because it's a marine plug, I can just tighten that up and it, it sits there really well. Um, these screws go right through and I've just put a little um, nut on the other end, a dome nut, uh, because I, I wasn't sure that this wall would take the weight of the actual TV bracket. So I put a whole thing there. This little arrangement here works really well for us. This is just a tray from Big W. You can see it's got these little things. Instead of having it just sit there like that, whoops, a daisy. Instead of having it just sit there like that, on, the, um, on this shelf here, we, um, we've just put a couple of little um, I don't know, they're marine brackets of some sort, so they're stainless steel. So when you're setting this up, they just slide in there, and I just slide that in there and there, and then at the end, I've got a couple of little brackets that this is actually clipping into. If you just bop down, stay there. These couple of little clips here, so that the back, the weight is taking them. They're just these little clips here from Bunnings. Got some spares here in case. They're just these little clips like that. And I've just screwed them onto the, the van itself. We've got two of them. And when we're traveling, we just take all of that off and come in. And we just sit them on this little, on this shelf here. I sit, sit one there and sit the other one here. And in order to, for this to close, I've had to just nick out just a little bit on each side and that way this isn't proud there and the door can the door can shut here's the other um bung for the tv i'll just turn this light on here's the other bung for the tv there so there's a, a sort of a double barrier if you like you know because i really did want that to be uh weatherproof and waterproof when we're traveling we um I just made this up and all our coffee cups and things sit perfectly in that. You've got to have wine glasses, you've got to have your, your coffee cups and things like that. They just sit in there and they sit perfectly in there and they don't rattle around and they don't break. We've done a couple of thousand kilometres without having to worry about, about anything. But because it sits in there snugly, uh, it fits pretty well. 
I took out the top bunk uh, and I just made this shelf up just so that we've got somewhere to chuck stuff. I put a handle on it because when it's fully closed, trying to get your fingers in there and get the shelf out was a real nuisance. In this cupboard here, I took the shelf out and just so that we've got somewhere to hang things, which is, that's really helpful. In the shower, I've done two things that are probably worth mentioning. Just turn a light on here. It's a gray old day outside. So in the shower, I've got these lengths of wardrobe hanger. Um, and so while we're traveling, if I've got wet towels, I can just use a hand towel, so you'll get the idea. When we're traveling, I can chuck a towel over there and drive for the day and the wet towels have somewhere to be. So they're not, you know, wet and bunched up in a, in a ball. And then when we, when we arrive anywhere, I just take those out. There's three of them. And um, I'm able to uh, put those just anywhere, keep them out of the way. The other thing I've done in the shower is I made this little... So there's, there's your Stony Creek height. I just went to Bunnings and I bought this little fitting here for... 12 bucks, that's been mentioned on the forum before. This is just a simple piece of 20 mil conduit and I have access to a 3D printer. So I 3D printed this bit up. I think that'll, that isn't glued in there, that would actually come, yeah, there we go. So that end is the perfect size for that and this end is the perfect size to fit on that so that when we travel if I just put that back together when we travel when we get there I have my shower and when we're traveling I just have to make sure I take that out and we typically put it in the um, down the bottom here or leave it in the sink or do something um, the first time we did it we did try and close the roof with that still there and uh, nearly tore the whole bloody fitting off the wall. So just need to remember to take that off, but it works really well. Now I know it's probably unnecessary, but for peace of mind, we also just drilled a hole, fitted that webbing there, just on towards the back, not in the middle and towards the front, just because I was worried about these plastic clips not doing their job uh, adequately on a rough road. So they don't really do anything, they just give me peace of mind. <laughs>